Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on algebra. Alpha, beta, and gamma are roots to the following cubic equation. 2x cubed minus x plus 10 is equal to 0. Find the reciprocal of 1 over alpha cubed plus 5 plus 1 over beta cubed plus 5 plus 1 over gamma cubed plus 5. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Alright, so this question is one of those classic questions where we're given with an equation and we're going to solve for a specific expression. In this case, we have this one highlighted, highlighted in red. And it is expected that we're not going to solve for the roots because I am pretty sure the roots to, these, uh, to this equation are not easy to get. So we're going to use probably some algebraic manipulation and ultimately the Vieta's relations to kind of help us get the specific values that we need. Well, but the problem is, um, from the given equation and as it, the expression that we want, I mean, it's impossible for us to get what x cubed plus 5 is. So uh, there isn't really a nice way to tell us what um, alpha cubed plus 5, beta cubed plus 5, gamma cubed plus 5 is, unless we write it into something else. Because, well, there isn't really a direct formula to tell us what this part is. So we know what we can get from Vietas, the sum of the roots. We can get, we know what this is, and we know what um, this is, the sum of the product taken, to, uh, the sum of the roots taken two at a time, and we would know what this thing is. So these are the only three values that we can get from Vieta's formula, so we have to probably write this in terms of something else. So we're going to use some algebra first to kind of help us get what x cubed plus 5 might be, because that's the format of the denominators. So all right, let's try to manipulate this given to get x cubed plus 5. Now, what's pretty nice here is that, well, 2x cubed and 10, I can factor the 2 out and I'll get x cubed plus 5 that way. So apparently if I move the x to the other side, so I'll have the following relationship. 2 times x cubed plus 5 will be equal to x, and then dividing both sides by 2, x cubed plus 5 is equal to x divided by 2. So I think... 1 over alpha cubed plus 5, 1 over beta cubed plus 5, 1 over gamma cubed plus 5. Well, we have to take the reciprocal of this. So I'll get that 1 over x cubed plus 5. That would be the same as 2 over x. So I know that 1 over alpha cubed plus 5 is going to be 2 over alpha. 1 over beta cubed plus 5 is going to be 2 over beta. And same thing for the gamma. So this expression that we want, we can rewrite it as follows. So as you can see here, essentially we're just asked to get the reciprocal of 2 over alpha plus 2 over beta plus 2 over gamma. Now, this is a very uh, familiar scenario. It's just the sum of the reciprocals. I mean, there is a factor of 2, but we can easily take care of that. But we know that the sum of the reciprocals of the roots can be expressed as this. So essentially, we're just writing these three into one fraction. Because 1 over alpha is just the same as saying alpha, sorry, beta gamma divided by uh, alpha beta gamma. And then 1 over beta is the same as gamma alpha divided by alpha beta gamma. And then 1 over gamma is just alpha beta divided by alpha beta gamma. So just writing, in, writing, in, writing it in terms of one fraction, we're going to get this. All right. So from the Vieta's relations, we get that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. That's going to be the sum of the roots taken two at a time. That's going to be equal to negative 1 over 2. And then for the product of the roots, alpha, beta, gamma, that's going to be negative 10 over 2, which is going to be negative 5. All right, so the numerator here is going to be negative 1 half. The denominator here, it's going to give us negative 5. It's just a matter of substitution. So substituting the values that we have from Vieta's relations, the 2 times the negative 1 half here, the 2 cancels nicely. So essentially, it's just going to be 1 fifth inside the parentheses. We're taking the reciprocal of 1 fifth, and that's the reason why we're going to get the final answer of 5. And this is the answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.